Have you ever felt flat in front of the mirror but couldn't quite pinpoint why? Technically speaking, there was nothing wrong with your outfit. Stylistically speaking, though, you lacked that je ne sais quoi. Sometimes it just comes down to little details like how to tie a belt or the way you tuck in your shirt. So today I'm going to talk about those magical styling tricks that we stylists have up our sleeves that instantly make you look more stylish and chic without you having to buy anything. If this is something you're interested in, watch this video until the end because I saved the best tips for last. <music> There are certain shirt tucking tricks that make you look instantly stylish, and the French tuck is one of them. While various shirt tucking protocols exist for different occasions, the French tuck can elevate just about any look. It involves tucking a below your oversized shirt in the front and leaving the back untucked. It makes any outfit look cooler and more put together, and it helps balance the silhouette. This look is all about draping, so we start with a button-down shirt that is loose-fitting or slightly oversized. Button it to your waistline where it meets the trouser or skirt, then tuck in the front of the shirt. Let the shirt drape a little bit, as you don't want to tuck it in flush. This is also a great opportunity to show off a belt buckle. With a jumper, blouse, or t-shirt, you can tuck from either the side or the middle, creating a diagonal line with your top that stops the eyes from focusing on the tummy area. There is an art to finessing the front drape, but it all comes with practice. Play around with how much you tuck and how you drape the sides. The trick is to get the tuck right in the center and gradually loosen the tuck on either side so that it drapes nicely. You can see here that I left my shirt untucked and it looks sloppy and out of proportion. The shirt cuts my body and makes my torso look longer, which in turn shortens my legs. And you know what happens when your legs appear shorter? Yes, you guessed it. Your overall look gets shortened. Of course, you can always fully tuck in your top, which I find it has its place in time and look put together depending on what you're wearing. However, it can leave you very exposed, which gives margin for potential unsightly results. For example, if you're wearing the wrong color of underwear or it's not tucked in nicely, which creates bulk. And nobody wants that. There are a few tips to prevent showing your underwear or creating bulk around your bottom. And the first one is to wear skin color shapewear to smooth everything out and hide the underwear line. You can also control the excess fabric on your shirt by using an elastic band. Simply button down your shirt, then fold the excess fabric in front of you. Put the fabric to the back, twist it to your hand into a tail, secure it with the elastic band, hide the tail inside, pull the fabric to loosen it up a bit, just so you're able to tuck it inside your waistband. Adjust the fabric around your waist and you're all set. The result is very neat and will give you a confidence that everything will stay in its place. Alternatively, you can tuck your top into your bra. And that's particularly useful when you have heavier and stiffer fabrics, like thick knit sweaters, for example. You can either tuck the front or the back of your sweater, or both, and let the rest drape nicely. And then just simply adjust the length to your liking. It looks way smoother than tucking in at the waistband. It highlights the waist and it creates an inverted V shape at the front that lengthens your legs as well. And since we are on the bra topic, next thing I would like to talk about is the bra, because you can possibly achieve a clean look when the bra strap is showing. Regardless of the type of the top you're wearing, casual or dressy, the same goes for silicone straps, which for me are even worse. 
If you don't like strapless bras, as they can look quite unflattering, especially on those who have large breasts, you can use a simple baby diaper pin like this to tie the straps together. And just like that, your regular bra turns into a race one, hiding the strap under the top. is also extremely important to get right. Here I'm wearing a white top and white bra underneath. And you might think that white is the best color of underwear to wear under a white top, but it actually shows it even more. And of course, it's also valid for bottoms. So never ever wear white underwear when wearing a white outfit. The best color is one that matches your skin color. Sweaters make the best scarves. They add color, while the mix of textures can add a lovely depth to outfits. Draping or tying it over a top turns your knitwear into a perfect accessory. Plus, you can experiment with tying them differently to add versatility and flair to your looks. And the good thing is that likely you already have them in your closet. When it comes to making your sweaters look more stylish, there are a few other ways to tie them on your shoulders or your waistband which are pretty much the ultimate stylish way to do it. I'll start by tying it the classic way, which you probably already do, so nothing new. For me, it feels a little bit unpractical when walking around if you're trying to bend over or carrying a computer bag, for example. It also feels very preppy, so if you would say that that's your style, then this might be the one that you would like to style it. It's not my favorite way to do it, but it's a personal preference. Another cool way to do it is by tying it slightly off to the side and doing a double knot like so. It's simple but ultra stylish and modern way to styling a sweater, so if you're looking to modernize your look, you might like this one. Yet another cool way to tie a sweater is across your body like this. And it's particularly good for those who are bothered by things around their neck, like me, for example. Simply tie one shoulder over the next and tie it at the front, a super refreshing way to style your sweater. Just make sure you don't overlap it with a crossbody or you will clutter your look. Bear in mind that this lends a sporty vibe to your outfit though, so it's great when you're wearing relaxed looks, like loose-fitting jeans, for example. And lastly, a very nostalgic way to style your sweater that's still going on strong is to tie it around your waist. It does land a very relaxed vibe though, beware of that. The new way to do it though is to tie it to the side as an update to the look. The good thing about it, it doubles as a belt cinching the waist, so it's perfect when you're wearing something oversized or shapeless at the top. Bonus hack. This one has actually been all over social media. It couldn't be simpler. Just tuck your sweater in your waistband. Or alternatively, in your belt loop. Ever so convenient and cool. But not for everybody, I understand. So just throwing it out there for those who want to try something new. I love to roll up my sleeves and show a little bit of skin, and of course my accessories, but sometimes my outfit just doesn't want to cooperate. For those annoying days when you're hard at work and your sleeves won't stay in place, try securing them with a thin elastic band. Just push up your sleeves, throw on an elastic band, and cuff over to hide the evidence, if you like. 
It will not only solve the dilemma of a sloppy sleeve that keeps annoyingly falling down, but also brings balance to your outfit proportions. It draws the line to a certain part of your figure, changing the style and the vibe of your outfit, and make it look more intentional and relaxed. As you see here, I'm wearing a blazer with the sleeves down, and it looks frumpy and undone, especially in combination with the loose fit blazer and baggy jeans. The sleeve feels almost at the end of the blazer, cutting the silhouette in half and making my arms and torso look longer. Don't accessorize your outfits will always look incomplete, period. However, it can also be the reason why your outfit isn't quite working. For example, knowing when to matchy-matchy is extremely important when it comes to achieving a stylish look. So try matching your medals, which is a more modern way to tie your outfit together. Matching medals on a dainty necklace, a pair of classic hoops, and a buckle on a slim to medium belt will always be in style. And it's less obvious, but will be subtly noted. Jewelry can change the whole vibe of your outfit. It's a known fact that going for a subdued jewelry for the day and a statement items for the evening is the way to go. But why not do the opposite? Think layers of gold chain statement costume jewelry or statement necklaces during the day, paired with a minimalist casual look to enhance your day outfits. and dress down for the evening with just a simple chain and studs for the ultimate elegant and timeless result. There's more ways to style a belt than meets the eyes. Knowing how to tie your belts will bring more options to the clothing in your closet. Once buckled, take the very end of your belt and put it back through and under the belt buckle, as though as a semi-knot. A contrasting belt will not only brighten a total black outfit, but also neatly divide the upper and lower body. That's why it's super important you don't throw the proportions off. If you are high-waisted, then a wide belt may sit too close to your bust line and make your proportions look out of balance. So opt for a slim belt instead and try to get at least two inches between your belt and your bust line. If you are low-waisted, then a white belt is a great way to balance out your longer body. It's important with any proportions to keep your body in balance. So when you try a belt on, look in the mirror and see if it's making you look particularly long or short in the torso, and adjust where your belt is to correct the balance. If you have the right body shape, a belt is a wonderful accessory to an outfit. You can have either a blended or totally contrasting color and have lots of fun changing a lot of plain outfits in one that is very interesting. Another way to wear a belt is to wear it over your outerwear coats and jackets to bring interest, color, and a modern twist. Have fun wearing our belts. They are a very useful accessory to have. Okay, everyone, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section below which trick was the most helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.